Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for the ServerGree audio specialization software developed by the Group de Recherche en Immersion Spatiale at Université de Montréal. This video presents an overview of the features offered by the ServerGree, which can be downloaded for free from the GREES website. Let's begin by having a look at the ServerGree's main features. The ServerGree is an external multi-channel sound spatializer for different configurations of loudspeakers in 2D or 3D. It is based on the Jackrooter HAL plugin, installed at the same time as the server. The server may include up to 128 inputs and outputs. You can also connect multiple clients to it, such as DAWs or other audio applications. You can also record the output channels thanks to the multi-track recorder included. The server GREE allows you to either import an existing virtual loudspeaker configuration or create your own. Finally, the server GREE offers multiple specialization algorithms such as VBAP, LBAP, binaural, and stereo. Now let's have a look at the main window user interface. The server GREE's main window is divided into four zones. The virtual loudspeaker's configuration and sound sources are represented on the left side of the window. The input and output level meters are located on the top right end of the main window. The bottom central part includes some project parameters, the multi-track recorder interface, as well as the specialization algorithm selection. Finally, the bottom right end of the main window displays each currently open audio applications that can be connected to the server GREE with their allocated channels range. Let's take a closer look at each zone of the main window, starting with the loudspeakers and sound sources, called 3D View. This area displays a virtual representation of the loudspeaker environment. By clicking anywhere in the 3D View, you can change the angle of the view in any direction. Scrolling while the mouse is above this area allows you to zoom in or out. The three different colored axes represents the three dimensions of the Cartesian coordinate system. The four cardinal points also serve as a reference for the azimuth angle. Different display options can be selected from the view menu. The show numbers option will hide or show the loudspeaker's identification number. These numbers can also be changed from the Speaker Setup Edition window, which will be presented in more details later in this video. The Show Speakers option will hide or show the represented loudspeakers, along with their corresponding number. In VBAP mode, the Show Speaker Triplets option will hide or display the connections, called triplets, between the represented loudspeakers. When the Show Source Activity option is selected, the active sources are displayed based on their energy level. If the option is not selected, all sources will be displayed in the 3D view, regardless of the input's energy level. When the Show Speaker Level option is selected, the represented loudspeakers will be displayed based on the energy level delivered to them, from gray to white, white representing the highest level. Finally, the Show Sphere option will display a full sphere in the 3D view. Alternatively to the 3D view, you can open a secondary window displaying a 2D view of the sources only by selecting Show 2D view from the View menu. Now let's have a look at the Inputs Outputs display area. The top section displays each server GREE's inputs by number. Each input's color can be modified by clicking on the number above the level meter, or you can colorize them all chromatically by selecting the Colorize Inputs option in the View menu. The input's color will then be applied to their corresponding source represented in the 3D view. As you can see, each input and output has their own level meter, as well as mute and solo buttons. Underneath them is a small drop-down menu that allows an input to be assigned to a specific loudspeaker directly, bypassing the specialization algorithm. These loudspeakers are referred to as direct outs and must already be part of the current loudspeaker setup to be selected. For more details, watch the Speaker Setup Edition window section of this tutorial. This area of the main window is where you can monitor and control certain parameters. 
In the top part of this area, the jack run indicator displays the CPU percentage used by the server GRI. Next to that is displayed the selected audio sample rate and buffer size, as well as the amount of available physical inputs and outputs detected from your audio device. You can adjust the general output level with the gain knob. The interpolation knob controls the spatial smoothing factor. If you hear some glitches when a sound is moving from one speaker to the next, you can adjust this value for smoother transitions. The drop-down menu called Mode allows you to select the desired specialization algorithm between VBAP, LBAP, binaural, and stereo. In the Inputs section, you can type down the amount of active inputs you want to use. You can use as many inputs as you get, coming from any client software's input. If you don't want to spatialize some of these inputs, simply assign them as direct outs. Finally, you can record the outputs as separate audio files. Simply click on the init recording button to select where you want to save the recorded audio files. Once you've clicked on save, you can start the recording by clicking on the record button. Once you're done, simply click on the stop button. The last area of the main window displays the different clients that are detected by and connected to the server GRI. Each detected client will be displayed in that small window along with their corresponding channel range. The start column identifies the first channel connected to the client, while the end column identifies the last channel connected to the client. This means that any channel between those two numbers are also connected to that client. Once you're satisfied with each client's channel assignation, you can turn on the connection. For a client to be detected by server GRI, you must first select Jack Router as their output device. The clients will then appear in their order of opening. Now let's have a look at the Speaker Setup Edition window. You can either create a new loudspeaker setup or edit an existing one in the Speaker Setup Edition window, which can be opened through the View menu. To quickly create a new speaker setup, first enter the amount of speakers that composes each ring. Then, enter the zenith angle for the ring's height from 0 degrees to 90 degrees. Let's leave it at 0 degrees for now. You can also enter a specific radius value. The default value is 1. Finally, the offset angle corresponds to the angle between the front center and the first speaker's position. The default value is set at 0 degrees. Once you've entered these parameters, you can click on Add Ring to generate it. Repeat these steps for each ring included in the speaker setup. After you've created each ring for your setup, simply click on the Compute button to make the speaker setup appear in the 3D view, along with their corresponding outputs. If needed, you can adjust the speaker's position using either Cartesian or spherical spatial values. In this example, we're modifying the azimuth angle. You can delete speakers by clicking on the X button under the Delete column. You can also add individual speakers by clicking on Add Speaker. Its default azimuth position is 0 degrees. The Output column is where you determine each speaker's physical output number, which can be different than their order of creation. The output number will then be displayed above its corresponding level meter and speaker representation in the 3D view. Checking the gray box under the direct column will identify the speaker as a direct out. If the show speaker level option is off, these speakers will appear in a darker shade of gray in the 3D view. Their corresponding level meter will always be displayed at the far right end of the outputs. Closing the speaker setup edition window will prompt you to save the created or modified speaker setup. You can then load any existing speaker setup from the file menu. Well, that's it for this overview of the server GRI. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to download the application on the GRI's website. To stay informed about upcoming videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.